on another big breaking news that's coming in and this is a huge milestone for the country. ISRO has made us proud once again. Just days after bringing these satellites as close as three meters to each other, the Indian Space Research Organization has completed the docking process of SpaceX satellite, a huge uh, milestone in India's space history. Now, ISRO had earlier missed two docking schedules, which was scheduled for January 7th and January 9th, and this was due to technical issues. But now, the historic handshake viewers has taken place. We were all waiting with bated breath for these days. The satellites were launched uh, on the 30th of December. ISRO took to social media platform X to congratulate the entire nation. Amita is joining us. Amita, a huge step for ISRO, a big milestone for the country. We've entered another space league and ISRO has made us proud once again. What has ISRO said? Just take us through their latest post. Absolutely. It's a banger of a start, at least when it comes to the Indian Space Research Organization. The year 2025 indeed has been that puts India in the elite club. And this is the reason why a big, huge congratulations to the team and the scientists there at ISRO, which goes on to say that the SpaceX docking update, docking success. This has been put in by black bowl letters there, Sagrika. Going further to give the details, saying that the spacecraft docking successfully completed. It's a historic moment. Let's walk through the SpaceX docking process. The maneuver from 15 meters to 3 meters. Holding point that has been completed. Docking initiated with precision. Leading to successful spacecraft capture. Retraction completed smoothly. Followed by rigidization for spillability and also docking successfully that has been completed. India now becomes the fourth country to achieve the successful space docking. Congratulations to the entire team. Congratulations to India indeed, Sagrika. And uh, ISRO has docked its place in space. A great moment. We have Deepak and Imran joining us. Uh, I'd like to go across to Imran. Imran, you've been, you know, speaking to the scientists at ISRO. You've been tracking the progress of this uh, mission. What a big day. And, uh, you know, ISRO once again making the country proud. Take us through what the scientists have been telling you, because this, in, this, this mission itself had kept everyone on tenterhooks. Well, absolutely. In fact, it is a very, very important mission. If you're looking at the overall objectives, what the ISRO planning to achieve, where is the man on moon mission or having international space station there. This technology of docking is very, very quite crucial because many payloads, which are very, very heavy, mm. cannot be taken one instance. In single by single, it will be taken and two together, especially as the human transfer is concerned to the space station. This docking is very, very important. And through that system, there the humans will be from the satellite, on the rocket which they send, they will be taken to the space Space shuttle and very important uh, achievement for the ISRO is the fourth country in the world to achieve that. In fact, considering the fact that the other countries uh, had achieved this technology 20, 30, 35 years before us, but never transferred the technology. This is the control what superpowers had. But now India is in that space superpower now where it has achieved the docking uh, docking uh, technology and it has successfully completed. In fact, we last just a couple of days back we were there where it was close, very close, close to three meters. It came to actually achieving it, but didn't achieve. But uh, many questions were dou doubted about it, but India has finally done it. The ISRO has done it. Uh, congratulations to the team of ISRO and especially to people who worked even at the smallest scale there at the ISRO in achieving this a big milestone, for not just for themselves, but for the entire India and for the Indians. Absolutely. Deepak, this becomes very important for the country. First, uh, a few days ago, we were talking about that stare between the satellites, the way they took photos of each other, and, and we saw those amazing pictures that came in. And now... The handshake is complete. Uh, we have Nambi Narayanan joining us. Good morning, sir. What a big day for ISRO. And uh, here at Times Now, we are congratulating all ISRO scientists. scientists but do tell us, Nambi, sir, uh, what does this mean for the country? What does this mean for India's future when it comes to space dominance? No, basically, it's a great success. And uh, this exercise is a pre-requirement for future space missions of India, including mm. Chandrayaan-4 and Gaganyaan. Uh, when we talk about uh, space stations, the docking becomes uh, a fundamental requirement. And the whole thing is, it is a tricky affair. It is, uh, you, you know, when two, two pieces are moving with certain high speed, you bring the, the, the relative velocity between them is to be kept to zero mm. so that there won't be any relative movement between them. But the point is that if you make 
what do you call the chaser speed which okay. is higher it will go it will go and hit that target i want you to i want you to stay with us now i want you to stay with us nambi sir because we have dr v narayanan also joining us uh, good morning sir big day for you huge day for the scientists at isro uh, what's your message to the country now that the spadex mission is a big success uh, india is the fourth country successfully accomplished the space docking and this is a, a requirement for our future programs like chandrayaan 4 uh, space station and other programs on this day i want to tell that uh, our country has got lot of opportunities and uh, lot of contribution can be made and today uh, we are a proud nation uh, having accomplished this great feat but sir i do get it and for you this must be possibly one of the biggest high- highlights now that you've uh, you know taken over as the isro chief and this good news coming in in the start of 2025 uh, tell us about the kind of hard work and the grit that goes into making these kind of missions successful i get is the hard and smart work of the entire team isro which has yielded this success under the guidance of uh, prime minister honorable prime minister of india hmm. and so what does this mean for future missions because you know we are looking oh, at this is a great yes. accomplishment great accomplishment when you talk about the future missions which is huge payload we cannot uh, build a huge rocket for carrying huge payloads so we have to take um, multiple modules and dock in the uh, space so this is a great accomplishment let me thank the entire isro team hmm. uh, for the outstanding work under the leadership of our honorable prime minister of india absolutely. thank you absolutely sir i would i would humbly ask you to stay for one more minute if there's a message you want to give the country if there's a message you want to give all space enthusiasts especially youngsters because there's so much to learn from isro and the very sentiment that wants to make india unstoppable what is that one thing you'd want to tell them sir so if we put a great target everything is possible and uh, india is a country which has got great talents and great leaders to guide us and everything is possible to be accomplished thank mm. you sir nambi narayanan sir is also with us and he wants to take one question I with you i wanted to congratulate him but you have not allowed me to talk yet so what's the pity it's okay fine so please go ahead sir uh, he's just with us no, please speak no he's not in the line he has already said thank you and then he must have left the line Uh, Dr. Narayanan, if are you with us? All right. I apologize, Nambi sir, because you know we were talking to him and he was telling us what this means, and I'm sure he's heard your congratulations, like the entire country has. A uh, big moment for the country, big moment for ISRO, a huge success in our space story. The SpaceX docking has been completed. The historic handshake has taken place between Chaser and Target. our satellites we'll tell you more about what this means for the entire nation but from team times now and the times network congratulating our scientists at isro congratulating the entire country for this historic feat taking a short break we'll be back with more news and updates